Hello, happy Saturday. This is a little bonus video. Um, Tuesdays are easiest for me because I work from home, but Brent is riding his bike. I just got home from Pilates and I'm really hungry. So made myself a little pasta. Not, it's not homemade. I didn't make, I heated it up. It's the Trader Joe's butternut squash mac and cheese. That's what it looks like. If you see it in your Trader Joe's, here she is. Did I get sauce on this? Yeah, I did. Um, it is mezzi rigatoni pasta with butternut squash puree and a blend of gouda, cheddar, and Parmesan cheeses. It looked very tasty in the store. So I got it. Does it look just like the picture? Kind of. Um, you can, what's nice about this is you can microwave it or put it in the oven. I had the time, so I put it in the oven. It's hair doing. Okay. I have not ever had this before, so I love rigatoni noodles because they just fit so nicely on the fork uh, things. Okay, first bite. Mm -hmm. Creamy, cheesy, butternut squashy. Needs a little salt. Um, but it's pretty good. The lighting in here is terrible. I'm in the dining room because I like making videos in the sunroom, but every time that I sit at that table, Bean sees it as an invitation to get in my business and I'm not interested in that today. So here's a little up close. Mm-hmm. That's really good. I want to see what spices are in it. Onion powder, garlic powder, um, mustard, nutmeg, sage, black pepper, thyme, and cayenne. Anyway. How are you? How's your weekend? Mm -hmm. Mine is good. Yesterday, it's loud. Um, yesterday I got off work at noon because we had a special event, outing thing, um, to celebrate a big milestone. So we went to Pinstripes, which I'm pretty sure is just in Kansas City. It's a fancy bowling slash bocce ball place. So, Our company hosted us out there. They got food. The food was so yummy. Um, and we played two games of bowling. There were prizes and gift cards and trophies involved. Mm -hmm. That was a lot of fun. And then... After that, we had dinner with my in-laws and then came home and promptly fell asleep on the couch at like 7.30 and passed out. Woke up at 9.30 and went to bed. It's pathetic. I think this all the time, how pathetic it is that In high school and college, I could pull all nighters. I could be up until the crack of dawn, and it wouldn't phase me at all. But now I get so tired around eight, nine o'clock. I can't remember the last time I saw midnight. I just 
I guess that's part of getting old. I don't know. Older. <clears throat> I'm just a sleepy gal. And I'm fine with it. But sometimes it feels really pathetic. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Plus also, I don't know about you guys, but I like to keep my routine, my weekday routine during the weekend because I don't want to get all out of whack. So during the week I wake up around 5.30, go to bed around 9.30. And so I try to maintain that on the weekends. Instead of 5.30, I'll usually wake up at like 6, 6.30 naturally. My body's just awake and ready to go. Jeez. Plus, Bean sleeps with me. <clears throat> oh my gosh, my hair is so staticky. It's so annoying. Tis the season for static everywhere. Um, Bean sleeps with me and she does not sleep in. So, yeah, her body naturally wakes her up early as well. Which wakes me up. So yeah, that was Friday and then this morning Brent went to go ride his bike. With some friends. <clears throat> While I went to Pilates. I love Pilates so much. <clears throat> um, and then later today, when he gets back, I think we're gonna do errands. We have a donation pile on the other end of our dining room table that needs to be taken to Goodwill. Um, Need to pick up the house a little bit. <clears throat> I'm gonna go get a present for my friend who is having a baby. And then I don't know. I see where the wind takes us. The wind? The day? <clears throat> I need to know if you guys are have already moved on to Christmas or if you're looking forward to Thanksgiving. I love Thanksgiving. I also need to know what your family has at their traditional, not traditional, well, yes, tradition. Like, what is your family's traditional meal? Because I feel like every family has their own, like, puts their own twist, their own little spin on Thanksgiving sometimes. And maybe dishes that are unique to your family. Growing up, we always had um, a turkey from Honey Baked Ham because we do not like roasted turkey. It's gross. Um, so we have always gotten a 
turkey from honey baked ham. That nice, sweet crust. <clears throat> and then mashed potatoes, of course. Um, rolls, obviously. Um, our vegetable was either, um, like broccoli salad or green beans, but never green bean casserole. We also were not cranberry sauce people. Um... I can't remember what other sides we have. We were not a mac and cheese family. Mm. I don't know. And then for dessert, I never grew up having pumpkin pie or pecan pie. Um, we always had pretzel jello. Which is so yummy. I don't know what other people call it. I think maybe like pretzel jello salad. <clears throat> but it's this crust of um, crushed up pretzels with butter and brown sugar baked. And then um, there's a layer of um, like cream cheese and powdered sugar and whipped cream, and then jello, strawberry jello, and then light layer whipped cream with like some crushed peanuts. So good, I'm getting really full. I only have a few noodles left. Um, anyway, so that's what we'd have. But we haven't done that in a long time, because ever since like, um, maybe the last five or six years, we've either gone out to eat, or been traveling, We've done Thanksgiving in New York. We've done Thanksgiving on a cruise ship. Um, this year, we're going to Colorado. So those Thanksgivings are a little different because we just have whatever the restaurant's making us, you know? Oh, last year we did um, Thanksgiving and Sundance. So, yeah, I'm curious what your guys' Thanksgiving traditions are and what meal you guys like to have. I'm full, I'm cold, that was delicious. Again, the Trader Joe's butternut squash mac and cheese. Very tasty. Um, I have one more kind of fall meal in the freezer it's um, pumpkin gnocchi that Brent has made clear he doesn't have any desire to eat. So I'll be having that by myself at some point. Anyway, have a good weekend. I'll see you guys on Tuesday.